If I fly on the wings of eagles, far beyond the stars, if I sink to the depths of oceans, even there, there you are. Before me, behind me, above me, below me, you surround me, you sustain me, promise that you'll always keep me. Before me, behind me, above me, below me, you surround me, you sustain me, promise that you'll always keep me. Session 13, and the story is Elizabeth and Zachariah, and that's from Luke 1, 5 um, through 25. Our story today is from the New Testament. As we prepare for the coming of Jesus, we will read about Elizabeth and Zachariah, John and the Angel of the Lord. The story is important because it introduces us to Zachariah a devout temple priest, and his wife, Elizabeth, the cousin to Mary, Jesus' mother. Elizabeth and Zechariah longed for a child in their own old age. Zechariah was serving in the temple when something amazing happened. The angel Gabriel announced the birth of both John and Jesus. Now I want to get your leaflets out and be doing this one gifts from God and they want you to draw a gift from God and I would draw personally my friends me and my friends together because that's a gift from God friends coming together so you can decide what's your gift from God Hi, Karen. Thank you for introducing me to come and uh, read the story of Luke today. Um, I was so it was so nice to see um, our Advent wreath all worked up. Isn't it so pretty? Mm -hmm. It is very nice. All right. So our story is in the Gospel of Luke. Hmm. The Gospel. That means good news. Um, and it is in the New Testament. We've been in the Old Testament up until this time. Remember? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Those are the first five books of the Old Testament. Um, and now we're in to the New Testament. We're into the Gospel of Luke. And this is a story, of, again, as Karen said, of Zechariah and Elizabeth. Okay, the story goes. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly order. His wife was a descendant of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Both of them were righteous before God, living blamelessly according to all the commandments and regulations of the Lord. But they had no children, because Elizabeth was barren, and both were getting on in years. Once, when he was serving as priest before God and his section was on duty, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood, to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and offer incense. Now at the time of the incense offering, the whole assembly of the people were praying outside. Then there appeared to him an angel of the Lord, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified, and fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, 
for your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink. Even before his birth, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit and power of Elijah, he will go before him to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah said to the angel, How will I know that this is so? For I am an old man, and my wife is getting on in years. And the angel replied, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. And I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. But now, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become mute, unable to speak, until the day these things occur. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary. When he did come out, he could not speak to them. And they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He kept motioning to them and remained unable to speak. And when his time of service was ended, he went to his home. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she remained in seclusion. She said, This is what the Lord has done for me when he looked favorably on me and took away um, my disgrace that I have endured among the people. And that's the end of our first lesson um, for our Advent season. And I'm going to turn this over to Karen, and she's going to ask some questions. Hmm. Thank you, Joyce, for reading the story. Uh, now we have some questions. Um, what was Zechariah doing in the temple? Zechariah was there to burn incense, to praying to God. Mm -hmm. And, okay, do you have another question for me? Yeah, one more. Oh, yeah. Okay. What okay. happened while he was um, there, while ah. he was burning the incense? Well, um, the people were outside of the temple. Mm -hmm. And they weren't inside because Zechariah went in by himself to offer the prayers. And the angel was in there with him. Wow. That's what happened. Um, and the angel told him that, he, that Elizabeth was going to have a baby. They had prayed so much and wanted a baby. And uh, that his, the baby, um, okay. Yeah, oh, and what was the good, so that was the good news that the angel said. And um, what was special about the baby who would be named John? Well, the special part was he was going to have the Holy Spirit within him even before he was born. Mm -hmm. And he was going to lead um, a lot of people to the, um, to the Savior. And... Um, so he was going to be very, very special. He could not um, drink any wine or strong drink. And um, he was very righteous. He'd have lots of wisdom. And um, yeah, he was going to be really great. Oh, and 
What surprised you about the part, um, this part of the story? It's um, Luke 1, 18 through 20. And, um, Do you know what surprised me? What? When, he, when Zechariah said, Oh, well, well, I'm old and my wife is old. Mm -hmm. and are you sure this is going to happen? <laughs> and the angel Gabriel said, I'm angel Gabriel. And because you didn't believe me, now you won't be able to speak until it's time, a time is fulfilled, and you name the baby John. Wow. And, and not only that, there's more to the story. I didn't read it all the way through. Mm -hmm. And so if you're interested in finding out about um, when Zechariah was able to speak again, mm -hmm. You have to read on in Luke 1. You have to start at verse 57, and then you have to go until at least verse 64. And that will tell you exactly what happened in the story of how Zechariah got to speak again. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. a challenge. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Joyce, for uh, that information. Okay. It will be great looking that up. Yeah. Uh, I want to get your Bible leaflets out again, and we have a, another Advent calendar, but this one, um, it tells you what to, things to do every day, um, like November 29th, you can um, color, color the candle, and it says, um, you color it purple, or blue, or blue. Yeah, we, we have a blue candles in our church, so... Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Well, you could do it either purple or blue. It's fine. And you can, um, and it also says you can tell the, um, your family the story about Elizabeth and Zachariah, if you would like to. So that's exciting. So, and then next day it says do something kind for someone in your family. So it gives you little suggestions to keep you busy. So. And after each activity that you do, what does it say? It says you can... Say a little prayer that says, thank you, God, for your son, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. That's great. I love that. Nice. It is. It is. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, now it's time for Joyce. I'm back again, and we're going to talk about um, the, a Bible tool. Remember, we had Bible tools before, and... Um, I'm going to take this sheet down, but before I do, oh yes, here it is. I'll take that down. Oh, I want to show you. This, all the books in the Bible are right here. Can you see them? All those. I know it's not too close, but we're going to put in the Gospels, and they're in the yellow. We're going to do those. These 66 books of the Bible all in the Bible. And so today we're, we're um, studying in the book of Luke. Okay. Now I don't see, you can see them very well. But anyway, we're going to place them in the Gospels. We have the Gospels here. And we're going to put those in there. You have one of these in your folder. And it would be really great if you would open your folder sometime and find all the books, the book, the Bible library, and um, put the books in or write them into the ones that, um, that uh, have no names in them. And you can write the four Gospels. The four Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Today we're in Luke. Matthew is the first one, then Mark, and then Luke. And Luke tells us the story of Zechariah and also is going to tell us the story of Mary. Okay. So now I'm on to the Gospels. We, we just said there were four of them. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 
gospel means good news. Okay? And it is good news. It's good news that Jesus comes into our hearts and lives with us. It's very good news to have um, God with us whenever we pray and in all situations every day. Jesus is also the name Joshua. Jesus is also the name Yeshua. Okay, that's in Hebrew. And the um, what that means is God saves. So Jesus' name means God saves. Isn't that wonderful? God saves us from from the things that um, we choose to do that we know that are wrong. And when we pray, we can be forgiven. We also, um, when we take communion, we say the things that we think we've done wrong and we are forgiven. God saves. And Jesus is coming into the world on Christmas as a little baby. And that's what we're working toward in Advent. Okay, so I think that's good. That's going to stay there. Okay, so we're learning about the uh, Gospels division of the Bible. Today's story comes from the New Testament. The first four books are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Great. I knew you knew that. In each Gospel book, tells the story, life of Jesus. And the, each one says it in a, just a little different way. Little different new parts here and there. Each author emphasizes a different part of Jesus' actions and personality. Um, okay, so now our Bible verse for today, for this month actually has been the Lord is my strength and my power he has become my salvation and that's Exodus 15 2 you remember Exodus I know you know the story the story of Moses yeah yeah I know you know that story right and coming out of Egypt and how he uh, brought them out. And so this is what has been said for prayer. The Lord is my strength and my power. He has become my salvation. He, because God brought the Israelites out of Egypt when they were slaves. So anyway, so that's our the last, the last time we're going to be saying that Bible verse. We'll have a new one next time. Anyway, um, we are going to say a prayer. So I want you to bow your heads, all right? And we're going to say a little prayer about Elizabeth and Zechariah. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. I thank you for the story of Elizabeth and Zechariah. I thank you for the story about Elizabeth and Zechariah. I thank you that you um, brought the angel Gabriel. I thank you that you brought the angel Gabriel to um, bring the good news of the birth of John. Bring the good news of the birth of John. John. The one who was going to prepare the way for the Messiah. The one that is going to prepare the way for the Messiah. And we are ever hopeful. And we are ever hopeful. And we say Amen. 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 Okay. Now we're going to do a blessing. All right. Now, like before... You're going to hold out your hand, and with the tip of your finger, 
in your palm, you're going to write your name. And you're going to say, God said, I will be with you. All right, so say that. God said, I will be with you. God is with us always. Remember, Jesus' name means God saves. And God is with us all the time. And we thank you for coming. We hope you had a good lesson today. We had fun today. We um, enjoyed putting our Advent wreath together, and we hope you did too. Okay. All right. See you next time. Bye. Discouraged